It's a fundraiser by heroes for heroes, and it all happens this Saturday in the southeast parking lot of the Macy's at Chesterfield Mall. It's the fourth annual Mike Flamion Hot Dogs with Heroes event, and it has a big new goal this year to raise $100,000. Joining me to talk about the event is retired Baldwin police officer Mike Flamion and Mark Gilliam with Code 3 Response. Mark is the founder of this event. Thank you so much for joining us, both of you. Mike, let's start with you. You were the first recipient of this amazing fundraiser after you were shot during a traffic stop in 2016. How are you doing? Doing good, doing well. All right, you look great. Thank Talk you. about, so this year, the fundraiser is for Craig Shormass. He is a first responder, a firefighter, struggling with stage four prostate cancer. Talk about what this might mean to him and your experience as being the first recipient. Yeah, I know, um, obviously, like you said, as being a recipient, what it does is it, it kind of helps put your mind at ease a little bit about uh, monetary problems. You know, the, um, just because you're sick or injured or whatever doesn't mean the bills stop coming in or the mortgage and car payments and all that. So the this hopefully will give him just a little more peace of mind and just one thing, one less thing to worry about. We have a photo here of we're just seeing of Craig with his family. And that's, I think you forget, the, the person who it might be struggling with an illness or going through um, some kind of a health issue, it also affects their close loved ones. So this puts their minds at ease too. Absolutely. All right, Mark Gilliam, you are the brain trust of this whole thing, this beautiful fundraiser that's named for Mike Flamion. It's called Hot Dogs for Heroes. Talk about how you came up with the idea. Well, after Mike got shot, we knew that we needed to do something to rally the community. And I told my wife, let's do a little barbecue. And she knew there wasn't going to be a little barbecue. But, you know, we thought we'd be lucky if we raised a couple thousand dollars that year. And we ended up raising $43,000 for Mike and Sarah. So, um, you know, we thought something so successful, we couldn't just make that a one-off. And uh, we gave it a shot a second year and a third year, and it just keeps growing. So uh, it's it's bigger than ever and it's it's not finished yet it's still going that's great Craig Shormass will be the fifth recipient because last year you had two first responders Correct. that benefited yes how else has code 3 response changed over the years you've changed your name a little bit as well we have so originally it started with uh, the employees of Metro West fire where I work uh, putting on this event but you know with the amount of money coming in, we needed uh, a bank account of our own and a nonprofit. That's not what fire departments are designed for. So yeah, we created yeah. all the legal uh, means to be able to put on this event and give people tax incentives to donate. And uh, it created some legitimacy, you know, in forming a nonprofit. And, um, you know, everybody who, who's donated to the, or who's benefited from this event, uh, they pay it forward. The Flamians, the Tudors, awesome. the, the O'Connors and Glaspies. Um, and they bring their team of hundreds and thousands of people with them to, to come out. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. So this event is so much fun and I know you both have spent a lot of time there but we're talking about not just hot dogs there's all kinds of things to do for the family right Mike? I mean is right. this something yeah, you look forward to? Yeah absolutely there's a, there's a ton of stuff going on this year um, and like you said it's for the family it's not just hot dogs there's uh, several types of barbecue out there's um, Bounce houses for the kids. There's going to be a, a craft. <laughs> You're going to give him the notes. There's the cheat sheet. <laughs> a, a craft fair put on by Home Depot. And, um, you know, it, it'll just be a good time to come out and hang out for a little bit. You know, stay for an hour, stay for the whole thing, but come out and have some fun. There's a lot of raffle items and everything. That's fantastic. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the weather for you guys. Oh, you. But it, there's also a way for our viewers to give if they can't make it Saturday. Tell me about that, Mark. Yeah, if you text. Uh, I have the number here. Two four three seven two five, <laughs> and type the words hot dogs with heroes. It'll send you back a link. You click the link and it takes you to our auction site. And we have some awesome auction prizes in there. You can have a date night in a helicopter, uh, blues and Cardinals tickets. Uh, there's about 20 items in there now. But there's also a link or a button in there where you can make a donation online if you're not able to make it out. All right. Thank you so much. Sure. Mike Flamion, great to see you. Mark see Gilliam you. with Code 3 Response, thanks for being here. Thanks for having we us. We hope everybody can join us for Hot Dogs with Heroes on Saturday.